The skull's there, but I was able to grenade launch him because I was above them. Oh gosh, he was way too close. Oh gosh, there's another one. Hi! Oh my gosh, there's so many big monsters here! Oh my gosh. That was an awkward spot to be fighting so many big boys. Doomslayer is an ancient warrior from an alternate uh, Earth like place who is the sole survivor of his homeworld who then tore apart hell for eons. Sorry, he just dropped a temple on top of him. So it was like, you guys are breaking vibes. Yeah, there was a. Uh like just a short time ago we heard a, what sounded like a recording from like a demon talking about like an ancient warrior and it was kind of like oh is that me I hear stomping again. There's a big boy here. So, oh, hey! Found him. Four shotgun grenade launcher blasts. Oh, that just opened. Oh my god, is there a freaking power up over there? I keep finishing entire fights and then finding power-ups. Haste. Uh, okay. Does this affect shooting? Yeah, it does. I think of the four or five power-ups I found in this game, all of them except one or two I found after the fight was over. Required environments. Uh, wait, have I? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, Praetor suit. Gladly take that. I can't tell if this is gonna damage me or if this is like an updraft. Okay, it's an updraft. I was not sure what that was. Okay, there's a glow stick and there's a glow stick. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you fly away from me again. This is only the third one of these I've been able, no, I guess the fourth one of these I've been able to catch this whole freaking game. Uh, heat Blast. Find plus for a build of excess heat who releases a powerful blast by using the weapon mod button. Stun Bomb. Pressing the weapon mod button launches an electrified projectile that stuns demons within its detonation radius. It must recharge after firing. Uh, siege Mode. Use the weapon mod button to charge a powerful beam that penetrates targets. Movement is disabled while using Siege Mode. Um... Use the weapon mod button to zoom in and charge a high damage shot. Precision bolt. Energy efficient and lightweight. Rocket launcher. Press weapon mod to detonate rockets in flight. Lock on burst. Press and hold the weapon mod button to lock onto a target. Once locked, firing will quickly launch three rock. I like that. I constantly have extra rockets because they just are not great so far. I'm gonna get this. Lego. But at the beginning of the game, I was like, wow, this guy is so mean to the robots, but after that one flew away from me, I'm like, okay, they deserve it. Artifacts. Doom Marine. Is this me? <laughs> Without doubt, the UAC's most remarkable recent discovery was uncovered in its expedition to Hell's Kadingir Sanctum. After several kilometers through nearly impassable terrain, the team discovered a sealed tomb, its entrance and walls covered in protective runes and imprisoned in incantations. Once discovered, the tomb revealed many artifacts, including the Praetor suit. Most notable, however, was an enormous sarcophagus bound to the center bedrock of tomb, with thick iron bands seemingly anchored to prevent anything from getting in or out. It was initially believed the sarcophagus must hold rare or powerful demon, but when later opened, it revealed the body of a man. The body was not petrified or decomposed. In fact, he appeared to be only sleeping, despite the fact that he lay and seemed millennia old. Attempts to wake the man were fruitless and to harm him even more so, as a protective argent barrier around the body kept him safe from harm in permanent stasis. UAC archivist cataloged the... Oh no! Where did it go? Oh no, I moved the mouse and it jumped. No, where was it? What the poop? Where did it go? There's the Praetor suit. Oh, I'm so sad. Where was it? Am I a monster? Thank you. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, UAC archivist cataloged the discovery DM-15, but project personnel has soon dubbed him the Doom Marine. While the history of the man remains conjecture, the Helix Stone as well as other artifacts found at the Argent Fracture and during the Hell Expedition of ECM-13 have shed some light on his identity. An etching uh, in the Book of Deva, another discovery of the Kattinger Expedition, depicts the Doom Marine wearing the Praetor suit, engaging demons in battle as a hooded figure looks on. Oh, in the background. The image has been previously observed numerous times in other artifacts. It's like the box cover art of Doom 1, but only with the actual discovery of the Doom Marine Praetor suit in the sealed Kettinger tomb have researchers begun to put the pieces together. It is now believed the Doom Marine must have been part of another ancient group or tribe, maybe even their leader. Whether he is a god, demon, or human will remain undetermined until the Argent barrier protecting his body can be deactivated, further deepening the mystery of his origin. UAC remote monitoring drones in service during the Kettinger expedition recorded a protracted and de uh, deadly battle during the sarcophagus extraction. Action. The demons attempting to defend the tomb with an instinctual ferocity previously undisturbed. They're like, don't let him out. Once tethered and returned to the UAC, the sarcophagus was studied and first opened at the Lazarus Labs, but went missing a few weeks later. It was believed that Samuel Hayden had the body and Praetor suit moved and hidden to keep it secure, though why he considered it to be under threat is not known. A final note to date, the Doom Marine and Samuel Hayden are the only known non-demon entities to successfully cross over from the Hell Dimension to our own, despite several attempts by other UAC human personnel to do the same. Wait, what? We saw a recording earlier of all of those personnel setting up the lamp posts. That was like six or seven guys. What do you mean we haven't seen anyone else do the same? 
only known non human entities that says across over the hell dimension to our own. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So maybe they came here, but it was a one way trip and they were stuck here? Additional relics were found in the tomb alongside the Doom Marine. Some incantation tablets and an ancient combat suit which was given the name the Praetor Suit. When found, it was encased in an inscribed stone tomb. The suit was extracted from the rock, cleaned, and subjected to numerous tolerance tests and found to be almost impervious to any damage. Except when I get hit. <laughs> it appears to have some mechanical function as well. Small receptors in the gloves and chest plate that attracted Argent Plasma and dissipated it through capillary tubes in the substructure. Markings on the armor were also consistent with images of a man or humanoid seen in several of the tablets and stones found on other expeditions. The same markings were also noted on the Helix Stone. Despite it being clear the suit can be activated in some way, no method has been found to do it. It appears to be missing a component, likely the Doom Marine itself. So all of those other Praetor suits that we find when we're running around were just like copycats of ours. Alright. That's some interesting lore. I don't know if I like the story or not. It seems kind of weird. Like, Doom Marine is not even human now. Speaking of... Uh-oh, lots of ammo, and then the music starts. What is that big guy? I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep giving him a mouthful of rockets. Oh, yeah, just bat you with your own horn. Oh, shoot, that's the wrong weapon. Oh, no, I hate you so much. Give me that. Uh, and of course, of course, of course. Okay, I hope I get to use this power up. Of course, I find the power up when it's over. Nice. I did get to hit one. Oh god. Oh god. I'm going to die. I am going to. Fr I knew it, dude. I was surrounded by those flying skulls. Oh, man, I was like one third health and they just spawned all around me. I was just like, goodbye, cruel world. It is over. Well, now I know where the quad damage power up is. Oh, wrecked. All right, once more into the breach. Oh man, it locked onto the wrong thing. There we go. Alright, I think that lock on thing's gonna be really good for these.
Okay, now the flying guys, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know what y'all are about. What's next? Another one of these? Come on. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oh my god, kill the one, please. Give me some help. Checkpoint reached. Oh man, I did like it in, kind of introduced me to a new monster there. I didn't expect to be fighting four or five of the brand new monster as soon as I was introduced to it. It doesn't usually do me like that. Mm, a new arrival. Fast Tofu, thank you for the follow, buddy. Mecklick Douglas Bartholomew Ritual Esquire, the fourth of Sir John Sivan Snuffles the third, welcomes you. Fast Tofu. To the bomb zone. Hope you enjoy your stay. Team Crumpets are on the way. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Hmm. Who's guys they don't divide them multiply. They let them out. The humans let the hair out. Hide the quad damage orbs. <sighs> Do we go this way? I was running around looking for a switch or something, but it just opens on its own. Okay, dokie. How's our various ammo? We're we're doing great. The legs, the legs just stayed standing for a while. Yo, that screeching noise. That has gotten some upgrades in the last few decades. I don't remember him doing it like that. Do not remember him screaming like that. There's something over there that... Wait. No, what is it fighting? There's some monsters over there fighting. Ah. Uh... Do I just let him duke it out till one of them wins? Kill the victor? Oh no, 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 no. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, 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 oh my gosh. Oh man, so sensitive. Oh no. There you go, Shadow. Just for you. Goused him. I hear spooks. I think one more. No, more? Earlier, I must have not done a direct hit on one of them. I, I killed one of them with three shots from the uh, shotgun secondary. Dude, the shotgun secondary with the uh, launcher is pretty wild. 
Like, it's like carrying me through the game. Like, when do we use other guns? When we're out of shotgun ammo. <laughs> Seraphim blessed him, so the angels were like, oh yeah, that Doom guy's doing really good, let's give him buffs. My character is basically just listening to his biography right now. That, that's kind of a funny angle. Like, the Doom Slayer was in hell. He was already stirring up things. The demons were already scared of him. And then the angels were like, that guy's doing pretty good. Let's just buff him up and let him keep going to town. Oh, no. This is way too much ammo. What is about to come up? Doom is literally the game that I think made the memes where when you find a room full of medkits and ammo to get scared. Olivia Pierce. Ah, you're so spooky looking. Olivia Pierce is the head of biological research at the Argen facility. Educated at Strasbourg with a first-class honors degree in biometrics and genetics, she joined her former mentor, Samuel Hayden, on Mars to head up the Lazarus Project. A few months after arriving at the Argen facility, Olivia was diagnosed with acute idiopathic scoliosis. Sco scoliosis is like a spine thing, right? The cause of this deformation is unknown. Given the option of being permanently wheelchair-bound or undergoing an experimental augmentation procedure, Olivia chose the surgery. After several months in seclusion, Olivia reappeared on her feet with a new titanium exoskeleton grafted into her spinal column. Although the exoskeleton allows Olivia to stand and move on her own, it causes her excruciating pain. Olivia refuses any pain management medication for fear it will cloud her mind. Yo, I'll take the wheelchair? So I know scoliosis is like when you're like spine is like warped a bit and it looks like you've got terrible posture. Um, I don't know what idiopathic scoliosis is. I don't know if that's a real thing or if that's something they made up for the game. I'm guessing it's a real thing and I just don't know what it is since uh, just because of the term. Dude, this feels like, oh, there's a quad damage orb. What is about to go down? Wait, should I use the orb now, or should I wait? I'm gonna hold on till I see something worth orbing. Whoa! Okay. Stop it. 